Hi, this video is to assist with the installation of a SenseGAN EQ3 EQ5 upgrade kit on a Great Polaris Vixen mount. Hopefully it's helpful. You should put aside about 60 to 90 minutes. It took me about 50 and a little bit longer if you include making the video. You'll find that you should be able to install it and I recommend watching it through one to two times before you begin so you know what direction you're taking. Have a good uh, one. This came from the Astro shop in Queensland, Australia and I'm going to uh, go through and record the install. Now I'll be recording this on my uh, phone as it's easier to manage than a video camera while I'm doing this. So uh, we'll go through everything. I have heard that the instructions online are very poor so I'll be using what clues I can find from other people. I'll just uh, rip it open there. There we go. And we'll see what's inside. Now I don't purport to be a professional camera person, I'm doing this as a one person job, so here's our instructions. I had a little preview of these online and they're really not incredibly clear. I thought they were a little bit short in the instruction manual and the uh, box contents. So. This looks like a housing controller, cables. Find out what that is. The screws and some of the gears, some of the bolts, possibly some lubricant, the clip to hold the uh, controller, or the motor controller, oh, that'll be the clip for the hand controller, that looks like the motor controller, that looks like the motor. Okay, and uh, I nearly missed this one. One other motor. From a photo online, I think that might be the RA motor. Okay, I'll uh, keep the screws in the box with the clips for now and lay out these things a little more clearly. Housings, controller, cables. Well, I've since discovered opening it a few seconds ago that the unknown package was it contained screwdrivers and a screwdriver and Allen keys. So uh, the Allen keys, well, I no longer appear to not need to bring out to bring out my tools for this. There's the uh, two motors. Uh, there's the other controller box for the motors, the housing. The hand controller, and I've kept the cables to the side in their box for, in their bag for the moment. I'll be installing this onto a Vixen mount. It's an older model, but I hear it's easy enough to do. You'll notice I'm doing it in my kitchen, so I have a white background, so it's easier to see. The first thing I'll be doing is removing my counterweights. So by removing these, I should find it easier to work around. Um, I've removed the counterweights. I'll be replacing the uh, little lock nut at the base here so I don't lose it. In the Stargazer's Lounge, they've recommended that you start with the right ascension motor. So uh, I've got the screwdriver, and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. You'll notice I've got the fridge in the background for a white background, so it's a little easier to see. So there's the existing unit. And I'll get a little bit of light underneath. And I'll be removing this screw under here. Get the screws removed. And there's the old RA motor. Now this one stopped working 
a few weeks back. When this nut is loosened with an Allen key that is slightly larger than the others, it allows the right ascension motor housing to easily detach. And then you can begin the next stage. Take this nut and you use the Allen key supplied to replace into this position here on the mount. So it threads through here and then attaches to the right ascension motor here. The easiest way was to put the nut on the LM key, insert it in here, and then with one hand on each side, screwing here and holding the motor on the other side here. I demonstrated that with the old nut which is too large to fit on to the new RA motor. Basically I'll tighten it from this point now. Next from your RA mount you'll need to rotate this particular gear here until you can see a small hole in which you can insert an Allen key just in there. Rotate that until it loosens off the gear and then you can slide the gear off its housing like that. Then you'll need to put the correct gear back on here. One of these gears that come with your EQ upgrade kit and then you'll need to screw out the lock nuts on the inside here so you can slide it on. You'll see they're currently protruding through the internal uh, chamber where the axle goes. So unscrew them till you can easily slide it over the axle on your RA. Over this white pot you'll find this bag of lubricant. Just take a fingerful and smear it over your gears so they're well and truly lubricated before no, you start. No. Smeared the lubricant all the way around all of these gears, getting some in all of the teeth all the way around and on the primary gear here I'll then use this bolt here to tighten the unit up so the smaller cog or gear engages with this larger one here. Okay, do not fully tighten the bolt back inside here because it makes it very difficult to get these two gears to contact properly. You'll need a little bit of play left on this one, on that, on that bolt back here, so that you can adjust it and get these two to come into contact easily. With okay, that. I've secured this bolt fully and put this in a position where it can easily engage I believe it will be best to rotate this gear until your lock nut is flush on with the bevel on the edge of that axle. That will give you better purchase. So I'm going to make that adjustment now. Okay. I've now got those at 90 degrees and I've tightened up the bolt that gets that primary or that secondary gear in place and holds the entire RA housing, the RA motor housing, on via that bolt. And now I'll tighten up these little lock nuts to keep it secure on that axle. I found on the original motor, after some 20 years that some did manage to loosen off, I thought that my motor had actually died prematurely, but I got another two years just by checking that these were secure in the housing. Using three screws provided in this little packet here. Sorry about the focus. There we go. So these screws will go into points here, here and up the top there. Center screen now. And I'll be plugging in the RA motor into the correct plug here. On the back of the RA motor I've inserted the plugs from the housing and then I'll be connecting the housing around 
and screwing in the screws. When I purchased it I was cautioned that it may not be a perfect fit. There appears to be a little bit of excess plastic just here which I'm just going to scoop away with a blade. So I managed to remove a tiny bit of plastic from here and also from around here with a scalpel just shaving off a half a mil or, or a mil at a time until it gave a nice snug fit and I was able to screw it together properly and you can see the seam joined nicely here I just have one more screw to put in here and then that's the RA motor done. Around the RA motor I'm beginning putting on the deck motor so I'll check further instructions and look more at the Stargazer's Lounge information because they've had similar issues and then I'll the continue remove these two screws in here and then it will allow you to grease the cog under here easily and to line everything up nicely when you attach it. With your deck no. mount loosened off completely rotate this top portion the head of your deck mount around so you can actually work easily here and here without having any of this in your way and then mount the deck motor here and the cog here. Don't totally tighten the allen bolt here leave a little bit of play on it so you can adjust the deck motor when you attach the gear. Remember to loosen off the locking nuts on the inside so they're flush with the hole for the axle and then slide it on and tighten them up with one of those on the beveled edge and the other one on the round. With the deck motor in firm contact with this gear I've tightened up the allen bolt in the top here and then We'll see about finishing the unit off. Take one of these two leads and put one into deck out on the right ascension housing and the other one into the deck. Here's motor. the lead plugged into the back of the deck housing in the deck in pot port and then over here you'll see it plugged into the deck out. Next insert your motor controller into the housing. I'll clip it on here temporarily, but I think I'll find a better way to fit it on because it's made for a round housing and I have the square aluminium legs. Next, insert your other lead back into the right ascension in and the other end into the motor control. You'll see that your hand controller plugs in here, 12 volts here. Notice the positive is on the internal surface of your plug and then auto guider here for hooking up to a PC or laptop or Mac or whatever your preferred device is. Notice again negative is on the outside, positive is on the inside of the plug that goes into Next, here. Unwrap your hand controller, get the coiled cable and insert one end into the hand controller and the other end into the motor controller where it actually says hand controller. Flick on your power switch and then check your hand controller and we're away. I'll do a little test first of all. Okay mm. so I'll punch it up to level 9 8, 9, there it is, and let's give her a go. Clearly working. There you go.